Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Taiwanese-made Pro-Grade ratcheting stubby 12-in-1 screwdriver that uses double-ended 1-inch bits. And I thought they were kind of neat. There's our, you know, the UPC number. This is actually the same as Performance Tool, and these just show up at, like, True Value Ace Hardware's. O'Reilly's has a little section of Performance Tool uh, and Pro-Grade stuff. What is surprising is it just seems so random that one store will have some PT items and another store will have some PT brand stuff, but it'll be totally different. And, and so that's why I just call these hardware store counter items. It just seems that these are getting a little bit better. Uh, I'm really surprised about the solidity of this. It's actually, uh, I think they were advertising ABS, but this is a pretty high grade uh, ABS. Really pretty thick. Nice reset switch. It's just the same as on this PT. And uh, I do like that it's set up higher, but then it's just recessed really deep so you're not accidentally hitting it. Although it's still pretty easy to uh, operate. And you can, of course, ratchet one way, forward and reverse, and then there's a middle position, which sometimes seems just to be a little bit hard to hit on this, which, of course, fix it in one fixes it in one position. So what makes this uh, pretty neat, too, is that it just has a rotating collar, and then you have these uh, six double-ended one-inch bits and I thought these were just so neat because uh, quite a bit of machine work you need like a screw machine or something to push the rod out machine one end and then grab it and machine the other so there's actually some additional expense in this I was uh, surprised and especially when it's short little bits like this and then of course the chuck on this or the nose is just a little bit deeper and it isn't magnetic because there just wouldn't be much to grab onto so it does just use uh, a friction spring but it's a little bit deeper, so it can hold those double-ended bits nice and securely. And it's actually kind of an in-between size. It's not like an impact driver where it just takes uh, these full shanks, but it, it essentially does. And what I mean by that is that these bits are just a little bit longer, and so this is just a little bit deeper. If we use a true one-inch bit, it kind of sinks down there pretty far, but it does work. It's just fine. You can get it out. And a lot of the issues with whole, of drivers that only use one inch bits is when you end up with some bits like this, which have the, the lock undercut, they only sit in like that and kind of wobble around. Where on this driver, they actually go in. And, uh, and I kind of like that aspect. What's also neat is that you end, periodically end up with a bunch of these, like Makita cordless drills used to come with these double ended bits, and they're always impossible to use because they're so long that they don't really work. And, uh, a lot of situations, even impact drivers, because they're designed for that uh, undercut to be in a much different place. But it turns out that this little screwdriver will even accept these. And uh, I thought, oh, that's actually kind of neat. I mean, the machining on the bit seems pretty nice, as we can see just on this number two Phillips. It really is. It seems like manufacturers have now finally gotten the point uh, that there really does need to be a specific shape to the Phillips. And let me pull out the whoop. Let me pull out these bits, and I'll show you them all. Here we go. And those are our bits. We get two sizes, a number one and number two Phillips, a 330 seconds and a, or excuse me, a 530 seconds and a 316 hex, T15 and T20, number one and two Roberts, uh, number one and two Posi Drive Phillips, and then a couple of little slot heads. And they actually are machined pretty well. So anyway, I like these little kind of screwdrivers, and I even like doing reviews on them, <laughs> obviously, uh, just because they, these things used to be just like totally worthless trinkets, and they don't have a very good ratchet mechanism or anything, but at least the, the spindle's reasonably tight, they've got the detents. It seems, you know, design, or at least whoever uh, is manufacturing these out of Taiwan actually wants to have something that may uh, last a bit, and it really is, feels pretty solid. I mean, these really are, they're not acetate, but... They just don't have that feel of just like something that is just super cheap and is going to fall apart. You know, you can see where they actually properly shaved the edge when they uh, did the molding of the plastic so there isn't, you know, a sharp little lip on there. Anyway, I think these things are kind of neat. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. On a side note, and I forgot to mention, I think one of the things I liked about this even more than this one is not only how recessed the switch is, so it's not super easy to accidentally hit, but that undercut, surprisingly enough, your thumb just fits in there real nice, and you just get a super grip on it. Anyway, see you later.